Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy. Today I wanted to start a new, probably a new series that I'm going to start on my channel based off of the color wheel. So I wanted to do different looks, kind of playing with different theories on the color wheel. Today I'm going to do complementary colors. So that is um, colors that are opposite from each other on the color wheel. So that's like blue and orange, red and green, purple and yellow. And since my favorite color is purple, I wanted to start with purple and yellow. So we're gonna kind of play with these tones today. And I'm wearing a yellow shirt to kind of match the vibe. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be really fun. So before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep seeing more videos from me. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you like videos like this, it really does help me out. It shows YouTube that you're liking my content. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I already have my base down and my eyebrows done as well. So I just have, you know, a nice little tinted moisturizer on and my brow freeze, just so we can kind of skip that and get right into the nitty gritty of the fun colors. I did want to prime my eyes today using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This is kind of a lighter, whiter base and that's gonna help these eyeshadows pop and be more uh, pigmented and kind of show off their vibrancy a little bit more. So, because I have these fake lashes on, I'm going to apply this with a brush just to kind of help me get down in here um, just because it's kind of hard and I don't want to get any of this on the actual lashes. So I'm going to just take a little bit on the back of my hand, get that nice and distributed onto my brush and start applying this onto my lid. And blending it up into my crease. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna kind of press this in even further and removing any excess. My vision for this look. I am going to be using my ColourPop Color Sticks in the shade Sunday Morning. I'm gonna do kind of like a graphic liner in my crease. We're doing kind of like a graphic liner cut crease situation, um, but it's gonna be really simple. I practiced this yesterday just to make sure I liked the way I could, I, I could execute my vision properly, is what I'm trying to say. And I really liked the way it came out and it was really simple. It only took me like 15 minutes. Granted, I wasn't trying to perfect it because I was just practicing, but still. And then the purple is going to be in this Co Cab Cosmetics palette and the shade Halo. So. That's a really beautiful lilac shade and it's just so fun. So starting off with the color sticks and something I noticed yesterday um, to kind of get a nice point is the back of it has a little sharpener, which is so handy. So I'm gonna kind of twist up a little bit and sharpen it up a tad just to kind of make sure it's not like super flat. And then we're going to start to draw the line. You're going to keep your eye open and kind of go right above, for me, right above my eye fold because I don't want it in my crease because then you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to put it right above and kind of extend it out towards the end of my brow. And it's going to be a little bit more difficult now because when I was practicing, I didn't have my lashes on and I have my lashes on now. So I'm going to just kind of lightly kind of see where I need to put it. I'm just kind of stamping it right now. So I have a guide of where I want it. And then I can go in and define the line with my lashes down. Now that I kind of see where I need to put it. Now, this line is going to be kind of messy right now because I am going to go in and kind of clean it, clean it up and sharpen it up with shadow in a second. But this is just kind of giving our base so that shadow has something to grip onto and pop a little bit better. So I'm going to go onto my other eye now and do kind of the same thing. Kind of map out where I need it. Uh, 
and now I'm kind of filling that in. Now for the yellow shadow, I'm gonna go into my Ace Butte Nostalgia Palette and the shade Water Slide. It's this perfect punchy yellow. And on this tiny little detailed brush, I'm gonna pick it up and start laying that on top of the yellow. Now, moving on to our beautiful purple, I'll give you kind of a look at how the yellow is looking so far. I might want to brighten that up a little bit, make it kind of match this in a second, but I want to make sure I get everything down first. So to really make sure the purple lilac color pops, I'm also going to take a little white eyeliner. This is the NYX, too long of a name, <laughs> pure white eyeliner, <laughs> the slide on glide on too many words. And I'm going to kind of scribble this onto my lid. Up to the yellow. Just kind of haphazardly scribbling it on there. And then I'm gonna take that same flat brush using the other side to blend that out. And help clean up that edge a little bit. Now I'm going to take another flat brush going into the lilac shade Halo. And we're going to start packing this beautiful, beautiful shade all over the lid. When I'm getting to the edge of my eye, I'm going to start kind of crisping up this outer edge. So I'm going to pick up the shadow kind of on the edge of my brush and kind of make this nice little winged out sort of shape. I'm noticing I have a freckle right there. So it's kind of an awkward spot for it, but whatever. Okay, so that's how that's looking. I think it's so fun and so different. I love complementary colors together because I mean, they complement each other. They're opposites and so they just stand out on their own together and I think it just looks so much fun. We're not done yet, we have some fun toppers we're gonna put on top to kind of really amp up the vibrancy, but this is the shape we have. I think it's really fun. is done now. Now I'm going to go in with Twinkle Twinkle. It's this really pretty um, sparkly lilac shade right next to Halo. I'm going to take that on the other side of that flat brush and I'm going to wet it. 
and place this in the center of my lid. And then on top of that, for a little extra oomph, I'm gonna go on with my ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Ritz, just for some added glimmer. Taking that on the same brush, and just placing that right down the center. I'm gonna bring it up all the way to my crease too. And then I just want a pop on the yellow too. So I have this Natasha Denona Jubilee palette and I'm gonna go onto this little yellow here. And on that same brush that I used the yellow shade, I'm just gonna kind of pop that right, right here. Just cause I think that'd be kind of fun. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Diamond Blush Diamond and blush palette into the powder highlight. Putting that right on the inner corner and bringing it up to meet the yellow and blending into the purple. And then putting it under my brow bone too. And then we're gonna leave the lower lash line bare. I think we've got enough going on on the top. We don't need anything down there at all. This is what we're looking like. I think this is such a fun little pairing. For bronzer, I have the Nude Sticks Nudies in Bondi Bay. I'm gonna use this for my bronzer. I'm gonna blend it out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So I'm gonna just draw this on. highlight today I wanted to go back in with my Hollywood flawless filter I haven't used this in a little while and then because I want a little pinky hue on my cheeks I'm going to do a little concoction I'm gonna take my rare beauty bliss Honey, I'm filming. And my Flower Beauty Balm Blush Balm in the shade Bubbly. I'm gonna take a little bit of both and mix them on my little palette. Make a pretty little pink. I wish I had, um, and Cosmetics has this beautiful lilac blush. That would have been so perfect for this look. Do you tap that one? Okay, and then I'm gonna take the butt of my sponge, just kind of blend that out and press that into the skin. Like so. And then for the lips, I'm gonna take my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ashton, and then I'm gonna top that off with the Just a Tint Lip Balm or Lip Crayon in 
skinny s'more. I really like the sun pen lip pencil. It's like really nice to kind of contour your lips. And then I just want really, really glossy, juicy lips today. So I'm gonna top this off with the So Juicy Lip Gloss. This is just their clear one in the shade Princess Cut. And I'm gonna take a bit on my finger right on the center. Like so. And this is the finished look. I think these eyes are something special. They're so fun. And then always having that nice, healthy, juicy skin. So let me see if I can give you a better look. I really hope that this series I'm about to start helps you kind of see that you can kind of play with colors um, in a more fun way. And I think it's still wearable. I don't think this is too out there where I wouldn't feel, you know, uncomfortable going out in public. I, um, my sister is throwing a little fundraiser today. So I'm gonna be looking like this at a family gathering. Um, well, not just family, it's gonna be complete strangers there too. And I think it's just fun and summery and um, I hope this kind of showed you a fun way to play with complementary colors. Um, later I'll do different complementary colors too, but I do wanna do um, other color theories coming up soon. So let me know what you wanna see next in this little series I'm gonna start here. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. I think it's really, really fun. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you here with my little YouTube family. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you watched all the way to the end. I really do appreciate that. I have a lot of fun here and I hope you all do too. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.